Blind Date with Gary Brooker. Gary Brooker reviews the singles of June 1967. The Pink Floyd. I can tell by the horrible organ sound. It's much better than Arnold Lane. Yeah, much better. I don't know, if Arnold Lane was a hit then this should be more of a hit. They are the only people doing this kind of scene and they have a very distinctive sound. I haven't heard this record before but I could tell it was the Floyd almost immediately. What the hell is a psychedelic record anyway? Is it something with weird sounds on it? The Beatles use weird sounds but I wouldn't call them psychedelic. They've gone above it really. It's all about the West Coast hippies, the beautiful people. The music doesn't really give you enough idea of what's happening does it? It's more like an Abilene kind of country and western thing. There should be a more mamas and the puppers feel about it all. It won't mean a thing over here. For it to mean anything, you've got to have beautiful beaches and sunshine. And there's not much of that in South End. I was a young man, back in the 1960s. Is it Tom Rush? It's about two years too late. The words are all protest songs. I like the end, it builds up quite nicely. I don't think it will be a hit. The pop field isn't open enough yet to give a record like this a chance. What I mean is they won't get any more plays than something like a Joan Baez record. However, it could do well if there was something in there that really knocked you out. The Monkees. Not quite sure about this sort of thing. There's a few things in there but it could be their worst seller yet but then again, a few people go off their bottle in the summer and buy strange things. I like the Monkees' earlier things. This has a few weird sounds in it and they have to serve a purpose. Whenever you hear weird sounds in the Beatles records they are there for a specific purpose, but I don't know about the monkeys. A lot of Beatles influence there. It's not the move is it? Are they English? It's a bit at sixes and sevens, I really don't know. What is there there? Nothing to get hold of. It kind of started and finished. Good sound but I can't see it being a hit. Good old Ray. I could have done without that girl singer. This must be about the corniest record he's done. Funny isn't it? He's done about some of the greatest records and some of the corniest. This one doesn't even have the occasional nice thing in it. There wasn't even any nice piano. The organ sound is nice though. No idea who it is. Nice sound. The words were all about churches and that scene. And the sound goes right with it. Good organ sound there. It all goes nicely and it's a good sound but it's a bit heavy. I don't know whether you could listen to it a lot without feeling claustrophobic. Let's pretend we're still nice singer. Is it an English record? Is it Lulu? Fantastic production. It should be a very big hit. Fantastic production, ending and backing, and she always sings well. Lulu's done much better since she went with Mickey most. He's great for getting material. Manfred Mann's good at it too. So take a good look at my face. Jackie Edwards. This isn't Tracks of My Tears, is it? I really like The Miracles. They originally recorded this number. I guess that if this was going to make it, it would have done it with The Miracles version. Who is it? Oh, Johnny Rivers. I should have known that. I like him. I like Neil Diamond too. Very underrated. My is a I bet this was made under an alias. And I bet it's their only record. I can't think of one person who'll buy this. It's just taking the mickey. The Dubliners. Can you take it off? I don't want to sound corny. It's not my scene. Whistling Jack. What can you say? What can you possibly say about a whistling record? It was all right. Very nice ending. It's quite a nice little record. He must be a very serious bloke to whistle. I couldn't stand up in front of a thousand people and whistle songs. He should revive Tom Hark. That's like the original scene. Welcome home, Mary. Now don't be shy. <laughs>